Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's good to see you. Thank you very much for coming back again. Today, we're looking at some DLC content that's coming out for Final Fantasy XV. It's um, a Ubisoft Square Enix crossover deal with um, a particular thing from Ubisoft being on Final Fantasy XV. So, we've been meaning to get back to playing Final Fantasy XV for a long ass time. This might be the thing that actually ends up dragging me in to play it because I'll play through the current content as it comes out and then finish off playing the game hopefully maybe i might even have to actually do the game for it before i see it but yeah we're going to check out the final fantasy 15 assassins festival take a wild guess what game series it is that they're actually getting to cross over with now i'm not just concerned about this it's just i i don't care about assassin's creed since the end of desmond so this is just going to be um a skin same as, same as playing final fantasy 14 and they have skins in it all the time so let's take a look at this trailer I hope the controller didn't die. So obviously, yeah. <laughs> Let's make sure to get that costume in as soon as we can. It, hmm. Is it just me or do it, like I said this back whenever Final Fantasy XV came out that it is just a platform. It is a platform that allows them to do a lot of things in. Uh, and all this is going to actually tie in for some particular reason, but they're going to have Assassin's gear. Does this imply that, like, the magic in Final Fantasy XV is actually the super advanced technology of the ancients from Assassin's Creed or the Futures or the people, well, essentially with the thing, the people who made the Apple of Eden and stuff? Like, is that is the king's power based out of that? That'd be that'd be interesting. But um, yeah, you have you running around the city, teleporting from place to place, climbing rooftops, completing missions, all dressed up as uh, like, that's not even that's not an Ezio costume, is it? That's probably what was the name of the first one? The first guy. Oh God, I can't remember the original um, assassin's name. The one, that, the one who melted whenever he dropped into water. But yeah, uh, obviously, with multiple um, assassins in your team and being able to run around searching out, stealth mopping kind of missions are not going to be a fun thing for me to play through in Final Fantasy XV. I'm not going to enjoy that. Um, so, yeah. DLC's coming at the end of this month. Um, I'm going to just see, is there anything at the end of this here? Oh, okay, there you go. So... The main thing was to make sure that you actually got to see the, uh, the Assassin's Creed costume that you get as part of it. Um, yeah. So get the Dream Egg from the Moogle Chocobo Carnival to unlock. So the Chocobo Carnival is going to be in town again, and we're going to party and have some good time. Oh, and did you... Yeah, I'm assuming somebody... I like, should probably look at this at some point as well, the Final Fantasy 15 on mobile. But, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on. Let me just put it up on screen, you... The problem is with actually being a busted controller, or not being a busted controller, but the battery being dead is actually stopping me from controlling it. Right, so Final Fantasy XV Assassin's Festival coming at the end of this month. Um, I, I don't know. Is, is, is there any words that can actually say how redundant it is? But at the same time, completely understand why they're doing it, because the next big release for them is probably going to be the... Multiplayer, isn't it? Because all the 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 other story episodes, the other three episodes for each of the characters for Ignis, Prompto, and Gladiolus, those are all art, aren't they? They did do the Ignis one, haven't they? Uh, well, now that they've got all that stuff out of the way, they can then go to their multiplayer content and then actually like perpetuate uh, essentially an online world that is just full of mission-based kind of stuff that's very uh, God Eater or any of those kind of or Tukadin or whatever else. Any of those games where you just like literally you have a hub, you go to the world, you do the thing, you kill the things, you come back, you get the items, you get the items, and then you can talk in the hub again. And like you just kind of keep this loop going back and forth with your three or four party mates. It's a very it's, it's, it reminds me a lot of Monster Hunter kind of partying up or uh, Fantasy Star action RPGs and stuff. And it's so weird that we had these games around for ages. And then we've built a modern version of one of those games all over again. I mean, like, if you really wanted to, why, 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 do you know what, actually, the, in the end up, I think this is actually a good thing for me, while also a bad thing, because maybe with this doing well, Sega might localize Fantasy Star Online 2, finally. But um, 
I very think that's, that's completely unlikely. I just I, that's why that'll be a little thing I'll say. That's my Crystal Pepsi. That is my um, uh, can of Ecto Cooler. It's it, it's the thing I want back. I want back Fantasy Star Online or Fantasy Star Universe. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy XV Assassin's Festival. Keep ourselves on topic here. It's a series of missions based off of the um, Assassin's Creed series with the costumes. I imagine there'll be a few insider jokes. We might see a couple of characters from the Final Fantasy histories that will be that were assassin characters popping up that actually will be referenced in some way, shape, or form. It's all taking place in the Final Fantasy XV world, which we know is going to try and perpetuate itself as long as possible, considering how long they've been working on it. It kind of needs to actually keep making itself money to perpetuate its own existence. So maybe we will see Final Fantasy XV truly build out into the GTA online of JRPGs. <laughs> could, you, could you see that? Could you see Final Fantasy XV as like a GTA online where you're paying money to actually get your, your specialized chocobo barding that you'll be then riding around in and then you can actually call up on your phone and summon on occasion. Like this kind of stuff, like could, could you see it extending that far? I personally don't. I think it's actually going to be a hub based mission world that they might actually make use of, but they're going to keep dropping things like this. It was weird the first time, as soon as I saw that trailer, as soon as I saw the Assassin's Festival logo, what popped into my head was the first DLC, the time attack mode levels from Sonic Adventure. And I don't know why, it's like, it's like oh, we better put up a banner here to make sure this one says soap shoes. <laughs> you know? It's like, make sure the branding is very, very evocative to make sure that we're talking about it all the time. It's not going to be obvious enough of the costumes and the theming of the plot of the levels, but no, we need to make sure that there's actually literal banners for it. But, um, yeah, Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, we'll get back to it. We'll play it. I left it off at, like, I think, chapter three or four way back. I'm just, I had a JRPG burnout back then. We we're getting back into the flow of things of actually being able to sit down and do proper Let's Plays again. So if you want to see that series come back, then make sure to actually check it out whenever um, this video is over. Like, if I see a spike in views, then I'm maybe going like, right, time to get off my arse and play back into that again. So guys, if you actually watched this trailer, thought you had opinions, didn't like what I said, did like what I said, then make sure to actually have a comment underneath, right underneath this video. But if you actually feel like um, I've said something that was interesting or funny or enjoyable, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there or what you can do is actually if you're not a subscriber memorize the name passage of skin it's easy to find me just search for it you won't be able to lose me i'm not trying to hide in any way shape or form and of course if you're watching this on youtube button up there there will be a playlist right here more than likely final fantasy 15 over there another final fantasy 15 playlist and right here a video chosen for you based on your user analytics and the things that you search for on youtube it will pick a video out of my makings that would be most interesting to you and you should pick that one because it'll be so much more enjoyable and uh, not more enjoyable but as enjoyable as this one if not better then uh thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next commercial <laughs> bye